Look at the torque controlled expansion anchor. Here's a typical example. This type of anchor will typically have the following components. A bolt or stud, structural washer, shear spacer, pull down mechanism, expansion sleeve and a cone mechanism. As the name suggests, applying torque to the bolt head or nut will result in the cone being drawn up into the expansion sleeve forcing it out to bear against the concrete of the drilled hole in which it is installed. Importantly, do not disassemble the parts prior to use. The anchor will be presented in its packaging in a ready to use state. Let's take a look at the equipment we will require for installation. Here's what we will need. Project documentation and or specification information, manufacturer's installation instructions, approval documentation, safety data sheet where applicable. The correct anchors as per the specification, so in this case just check on the part number on the product, confirm that it is the correct product for the project. Please note also that anchors are available not only in different diameters but also different lengths per diameter, so it is important to get the correct length product. The correct size drill bit, in this case for this product we need an 18mm diameter drill bit and we can confirm here on the drill bit that it's 18 millimetres diameter. The appropriately sized rotary hammer drill to do the job, ideal for 18mm drill bits. Measuring equipment, in this case we'll run a tape measure, we use a ruler, string line, etc. Mash hammer, hole cleaning equipment. For mechanical anchors in this case what we'll be using are hole cleaning brushes and a vacuum attachment to remove dust for dust management. Additionally, calibrated torque wrench and the appropriately sized socket to suit the anchors being used. Let's move on to drilling and cleaning the hole. In accordance with the project documentation, locate and mark the positions for installing the anchors. Note that if the desired locations cannot be achieved, advice should be sought as to the appropriate course of action. When installing groups of anchors, using the fixture, where possible, or a template to position the drilled holes will dramatically improve anchoring success. Mark location of the drill holes, template out. Mark the correct diameter drill bit to ensure that drilled holes will be of the correct depth as per the project documentation. In this case we require an anchor embedment depth of 85 millimetres minimum. As can be seen there we're closer to 100, that's adequate. We'll be aiming for a hole depth of 110 millimetres. In this case let's take our measurement. The measurement for hole depth starts at the diameter where the carbide meets the whole wall, not at the tip. So if we come in here, see there's our 110. Let's just lay that there so we can get that measure with our tape. And there's our tape. Find tape around the shank. There's our marker for adequate hole depth. We'll place that drill bit back in the machine, clear our work area. With dust management in place, drill the holes, checking in two planes that the hole is perpendicular to the work surface. So both in this plane and in this plane. Clearing the drill bit periodically during drilling will speed the process. The default cleaning process prior to installing post-installed mechanical anchors is blow, brush, blow. Or in our case with the vacuum, suck, brush, suck. Our vacuum attachment is on, go to the bottom of the hole, clean around our work area, do our brush, twisting action, and finally vacuum. 
That's our cleaning for the mechanical anchor. Please note that chemical anchor holes should always be cleaned utilising the method described in the manufacturer's installation instruction. Finally, let's install the anchor. Before proceeding, do a quick check of the hole depth to make sure we have correct depth, 110 millimetres, exactly as desired. Now, using the mash hammer, install the anchor through the fixture and tap it down until snug with the fixture. Take the calibrated torque wrench and check that it's set as per the product specification. In this case, 80 Newton meters. Be especially mindful with devices with more than one unit scale that you're reading the correct scale. Appropriate socket in place. Now apply torque to the anchor in smooth sweeping rotations until the peak torque is indicated. Feel the torque coming on now. And there's the indication. The anchor is now correctly set.